Welcome to the pregame. I tell you, it's going to be a great pregame. You're going to love this one. Different than the most, but i got to say, welcome in Wrexham fans. Welcome in crew fans. Crew fans, stick around. There's stuff for you. There's stuff for Wrexham fans. There's stuff for the neutral fan. And by the way, thank you for coming back, family member, Ultimate Soccer. And thank you for coming for the first time. Stick around first timers. And you know what to do. Pay for your ticket. Yeah, pay for your ticket. Like the video. Send YouTube some good messages. Anyway, on this show, we've got news, we've got stats, we've got opinion. We've got two funny football videos. Now, football fans are funny people, aren't we, right? We're really funny people. We're a little bit off the charts sometimes, yeah? Well, I know I am. I'm going to give you a story at the end of this so you know was how far off the charts I've been as a football fan. Some things are good, some things are bad, some things are just downright funny. Now, the two videos I'm going to show you on this video that you're watching right now are two funny clips from football fans. Stick around as we go through the show. I'm going to release one very soon. Then I'll release another one. But I've got to say this before we move along. Wrexham fans and Ultimate Soccer fans, Ultimate Soccer family more so. I've got to ask a question to you personally. And I think you crew fans will get the gist of it, seeing as how you are still in the playoff race, right? And good luck to you. And crew, you'll hear is something, there's something that crew I know about. Keep around, crew fans. You've got someone on your side here. I'll tell you why in a minute. But, but, got to say, Wrexham fans, ask yourself a question. Have you been staring at the table all week and feeling good about yourself? Huh? Been soaking it in all week and you've had this smile on your face and this kick to your step and it's promotion written all over it and games to go and you've done it and like i said last week is it gonna end in an anti-climax and it did didn't it eh? two games to go done and dusted wrexham are a league one team two promotions back to back i'm going to give you a few things to think about before we get deep into this but remember we've got the pre-game right now we're going to talk the game talk the prediction two funny videos but i'm going to give you some things to think about before we get there like we closed down the last show we're going to open up this show there's one thing there for you to think about have you been staring at the table? Have you been feeling good about yourself, eh? Have you been soaking it in all week long? Down below, let me know. I'd love to know how you're feeling because I know how I feel. I think you can see it. Down below, how you feeling? <laughs> I know I've been staring at the table and I know I feel bloody good, but here's something else. Wasn't that an amazing feeling last weekend? Promotion, dos punto zero, 2.0, promotion 2.0. If realistically we want to get promotion 3.0, we're going to have to offload and upgrade. What do you think? Nine players have got to come in for next season. I'll show my purchases for who I think we need to go after in the next show. But sadly, nine players must go. Rob and Ryan are going to go further in debt as Wrexham go up the league ladder. But one thing's for sure, as Wrexham grows in popularity around the world, they're only one step away from one huge sponsor coming in to pay all the debts and push Wrexham even higher. Think about that. One big sponsor away from Mega Heights. Yeah. A big question, though, really ask yourself as well. Is this squad, the way it's set up right now, although it's done a great job in League Two, is this squad strong enough to challenge for a promotion spot in League One as this squad stands, as this team stands? What are your thoughts? Are we strong enough to go straight into fight for promotion? right now in League One, as it stands, and spend no money? What are your thoughts? What do you think? Where do we need to build? So, Crew Alexander in fifth, taking on Wrexham in third. Wrexham promoted. 
Crew Alexander looking to go through the playoffs, and this is a game where they need points. Wrexham can, however, play within themselves and play relaxed. As we know, game coming off at Gresty Road, a place where I've been, a place where my dad used to love to go, actually. Yes, absolutely. He did tour around quite a few clubs in the day. So, anyway, home form for Crew Alexander right now. 11, 5 and 6, 36 goals for 32 against. So, plus 4. Not bad all season. 11 wins on the season. Wrexham on the road. Well, it's not been great, but of late... It's been pretty decent. It's been pretty decent. Record all season for the Wrexham. Eight wins, seven draws, seven losses, 24 goals, four, 27 against, minus three. So pretty close numbers when you look at it. Absolutely. As usual, we've got news, opinions and stats, and we've got those two funny stories coming up. One of them, football fans with arrows. You're going to see that very, very shortly. And I'll tell you what, you're going to love it when you get there. So I'll tell you this much. I look for a really tough game between these two. Remember. There's more riding on this for crew than there is for Wrexham. Take a look at the funny football video. Now, this is a football video where it's fans and it's fans' humour, like I said, on the head. This one, it's from Germany. And the matter is the team hadn't scored for five games. Thus, the fans made cardboard cutouts of arrows where to direct the forwards to run with the ball, per se, towards the goal, per se. So take a look at this. This is Germany as many years ago. It's quite funny. But what these arrows in behind are doing is showing you, the striker, where the goal is. It starts with a free kick on the right side of the field. You'll see the ball fly in. And from there on in, a few seconds after, you'll see and you'll hear a few giggles. And yes, that's what the fans did when the team weren't exactly Lighting it up in front of goal. Take a look. You will laugh. It is quite funny. Be back straight after that. It's not long. <laughs> okay, guys. Remember, let me know who your player of the year is for Wrexham on the season. We'll let you know next week who the Ultimate Soccer Show player of the year is thanks to you who've all voted and written in either to fifa's cup at gmail.com or down below looking at the games coming through that's what it looks like this weekend a load of beautiful games coming through there feast your eyes on that we won't stay here too long got to keep skipping along that's the table as she stands three great teams are promoted with two games left last weekend and i tell you what what a great feeling that was uh, i tell you man um Everybody around the world, big, big love to Worldwide Wrexham. I uh, I did interact with a few people and uh, the feeling at the same time around the world was like, oh, my life, it's happened. And uh, like I did say, it could be an anticlimax when it came. It was a bit of an anticlimax, but what an anticlimax. 6-0, what a fantastic game. It was absolutely superb. Sorry, crew fans, not gloating, just reporting. Anyway, next up, it is indeed Wrexham taking on the crew. That's what the live table stands like right now. Look at the recent point haulers who's made the most points in the last five games for the benefit of the crew fans. Take a look. Yeah. Donny. Doncaster Rovers on top of the league. Plus 11 on the goal difference as well. But hey, Wrexham's not so bad. Hey, plus 13 in the last five. Yeah. But look at them. That's the form for the top 10. That tells you a lot of what's going on. Yeah. Really does. Wrexham, like I say, sitting third, looking good. By the way, just a funny side of a joke here. That's a coach of uh, Cavalry FC, Tommy Wielden Jr. He's waiting for an interview there the other day. Looks a bit angry, doesn't he, eh? I'm going to have to have a word with Tommy and tell him, mate, you need to like put a smile on when you're waiting because you look a little vicious, eh? Anyway, just, just saying. If he sees that, he'll probably have a good old laugh. Now, moving along to something else. Yes. We've got one thing left to tell you, and that is there will be a prediction as we get out of this. But guys, tell you what, remember, those are the games coming through. Don't forget your player of the year, and that's the battleground, Gresty Road, the place I've been. Yeah, back on screen. Okay, as we do in every week, we've got to have a prediction image because now we're going to start talking a bit about the game and a few other things too. Don't forget there's still a funny video coming along and that next funny video coming along is pretty hilarious. I'll tell you what, the things that football fans do on the road, eh? I'll tell you what. Hey, by the way, I wonder if we're going to get one of these in the game this weekend. I wonder. There's a lot to play for, crew. You might see Red somebody. 
We haven't had one for a while. You never know. But anyway, let's see what's coming up next. So, so that's what's coming up next, playing it a little bit coy. But uh, no, listen, game talk. I tell you what, straight off the bat, my game notes right for you. This is what I got for you. There's no pressure on Wrexham in this game whatsoever. Not at all. All the pressure is firmly at the feet of crew. They need the points. They've got to find form. And they got to pick up the form for the playoffs. You Crow fans know what I'm talking about. Last sort of 10 games hasn't been the best. So the form's got to come back. There was a time earlier in the season where Crew were in a great position, were going in great form, collecting the wins beautifully. Midway towards the middle of the season, the season, halfway through the season, I should say, they were looking fantastic. You said they are in the mix, really in the mix for a promotion spot automatico. But like I say, the last few games hasn't happened, so the form's got to come up. So there's more pressure on Wrexham. Last 10 for Crew, 2, 3, and 5. That'll tell you everything. Two wins, three, five, three draws, five losses. Tells you everything you need to know. Last 10 for Wrexham, different story. 7, 1, and 2. 7, 1, and 2. Three wins on the bounce. Four wins in five. And that last loss was against Doncaster, who are in top form at the top of the table, yeah? Yeah. Hey, by the way, there might be nothing riding on this game for Wrexham per se. But I'm I'm really waiting for this game. Like you say, I know, I know, I know. You've heard it before. I love every game, and I do. It's not bullshit. It's top draw. I am waiting for the game. There's nothing else I've got better on the calendar to do than get ready for another game for Wrexham right now. So if you're not, like, busted up for it, I'm sorry. But I am. And that's the way it always rolls. Now, some other stuff for you as well. Motivation factors as well. So another thing as well. Wrexham's not going to be in the place or the or, or the situation where they've got to chase the game. They're going to be relaxed. The only team that's going to have major nerves for the start of this game will be Crew because, like I say, there's a lot riding on this for Crew, not so much for Wrexham. Crew's definitely looking to be in the playoffs. It's just a matter of where they finish. Right now, it's they're in fifth and they're holding on good. But a dip in form, that could soon change. So, like I say, pressure for Crew, not so much for Wrexham. Motivation for crew, like I say, to win is to secure fifth because I don't think they're going to get fourth. There's four points between them and MK Dons. I don't think they're shutting that down. I don't think they're closing that. And the motivation for Wrexham is basically play for pride, close out the season strong, okay, and get ready for the vacation. And don't forget that summer tour coming up in the US, Chelsea, July 24th. We're going to be all over that, all over it. So I'll keep you there. We're going to do a lot of things as well in the summer, but we'll talk about that pretty soon. But Wrexham's next game, Stockport County. That's something to think about, Wrexham fans. Saturday, April 27th, race course ground. It's not for the title. We had so hoped that that might be a title game. Doesn't seem to be. Isn't going to be. Congratulations, Stockport. They became champions not so long ago. So, but at least we got close. That's the point. Now, going to leave you with some things to think about but on the game you see my prediction you see my thoughts i do think there's a win here for wrexham at all i'm going to i'm going to shut this down with a summary after a few points i want to throw to you because these are going to make you think there's some really good pointers right now and i think you're going to love this if you're a wrexham fan for sure but by the way this season has been you can't say it's been better than last season it's been as good as last season in many ways but because wrexham stepped up a division it really has been a better season and it's been a season where you at times went, oh, I don't know. And times where I went, oh, this is a tricky time. You know, when we dropped three losses back to back, you know, just after midway through the season. And people were like, whoa, what's going on? And people were chips in about, well, what's Parky doing? Well, maybe we need to get rid of Parky and all the doubters and this, that and the other. And, and you know what? Everybody that's stuck by and kept their nerve, kept their patience, and enjoyed this wonderful ride again, hey, get ready for the next year, because you know what? It can be the same, but there's got to be changes. There's got to be changes. But I'm going to leave you a few things to think about. Remembering, remembering this. I'm going to be bringing shows covering in 2024 the League 2 playoffs coming up soon. So I'm going to touch that straight away. I'm also going to touch Wrexham and Chelsea this summer. I'm also going to do something big. Mega. Copa America. 2024 Copa America. Yeah, Copa America. 
All the teams. Ch -ch 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 Bang. I'm going to cover that. That's going to be a blast. So we're going to have plenty to go through in the summer. There's going to be plenty of times where you can come back, and it's going to be the same release. One good show a week on a Friday night if you're in this part of the world, or maybe Saturday if you're in another pool. If you're in if you're in Sydney, it's going to be Saturday when you get it. If you're in Europe, it's going to be like Friday night. And if you're in South uh, in South or North America, it's going to be like Friday evening sort of thing or Thursday night. So it's going to be in there. But once the show during the summer, so as you know, because we all got places to go in the summer and enjoy life. Because I haven't had a vacation in a while. So don't forget, Copa America is coming. Chelsea and. Uh, Wrexham on July 24th. That's from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. We're also going to be covering the 2024 League 2 playoffs and Canada games and any Wrexham news, obviously going to be covering that too. So, like I say, there you go. Now, moving along. What a steamroller. What a steamroller of a bloody season. What a fantastic season. Uh, you should have been in my place last week when the goals were rolling. I would have loved to have been with you in your place when the goals were rolling because, holy moly, I even got in touch with people at half-time going, shit, my my my, my prediction 3 nil has gone out the window. It's 3 nil already, you know, knowing that more goals were coming. And um, phenomenal moment. Uh, league, league National League winning, that was just fantastic, chaotic. But this was beautiful in every way. It was hard work for, and I'm happy for Phil Parkinson that he did it. I'm happy for the for the team and the squad, and also mostly for the fans everywhere worldwide. Because if you'd watched all the games like we have, and you've been part of this story like we have been right from the start, and I've been watching Wrexham for years. Anyway, this is a fantastic story, and like I keep writing every time, every now and again on on the Wrexham websites, Wrexham, the best story in football. So if you ever see that, if anybody repeats that, you know where you got it first, Wrexham. The best story in football because it is. But as as I say this, it did end anticlimactically, didn't it? Eh? Two games to go and, and Wrexham are already there. I'd sooner have that than hanging on and biting my fingernails off right to the last game of the season. Because hey, what's done is done, and three teams are going up to League One, and we Wrexham are League One right now. Feel that. Feel it through the season. Feel it through the summer. Feel good about it. Walk tall. Have a smile. Because I'll tell you what, you can punch your chest out for being League One because that's what it means. You've arrived. It matters now how we close down the season and then after, enjoying, enjoying, enjoying the summer tour. No. Preparing, preparing, preparing for League One. And the next show, I'm going to unearth the nine players that I think we need to pick up to make a charge for League One promotion, and who we got to offload. Because sadly, like I said last time around, sometimes achieve a standard, but they can't punch to another level. And we need the level that the guys are punching at above us on our team and not try and have our guys attain that level that may not just be ready. We have some players on this team that will factor in League One, no doubt. But next show, I'll tell you, who's not going to be there. Anyway, for now, I've got a good feel about this. I've got a fun feel about this. It's a nice place to go to play football at Crew in Cheshire. I've been there a few times and so many Wrexham fans over the years too. It's going to be another little battle. Might be a little bit of a heavy field. Might be a bit of a heavy game. And Wrexham has no pressure on them whatsoever. Even if they've got to play in the mud and the rain. There's no pressure on Wrexham. It's all pressure crew Alexandra to get the points at least to draw when you play relaxed you normally pull a good result and recently Wrexham four out of five wins are playing damn good I tell you what Wrexham crew let's have them cheers